Here is the Battle of the Natural Hair Creams, part two. Today is day three, and it's time to take my twist down. So let's just jump into it. So just feeling my hair, like overall, it feels really, really soft. So this is the Commit Biologics here. Okay, so this is how Commit Biologic is looking. Frizzy, but super moisturized. Prediction was pretty on point. I didn't think Commit Biologics was gonna give me like any like definition um, per se, like really, really defined twist. Like I didn't think that because it's a moisturizing cream in my opinion, and that's exactly how my hair is feeling. It's feeling extremely moisturized. But as you can see, even just <laughs> messing with it just a little bit, my twist completely fell apart there. And it would be the same for this if I keep messing with it. So here is my two cents on how to best apply that Commit Biologics uh, Burdock Root Cream. You can't apply that on soak and wet hair. That cream is best applied on damp hair and not dry hair. So the con is you have to wait till your hair is like slightly damp to apply that cream to get the best results, in my opinion. It's not a definition type cream. It truly is strictly moisturizing. And for that reason, because Commit Biologics is not like a super defining cream, I would opt to use that cream in the winter months versus the summertime. You know, summertime is when you kind of just want to show like what you have, what you're working with, right? In the winter time, you want to battle that cold air with your like high performing cream. So that would be like when I would use that actual cream, not in the summertime. Now this is Kinky Tresses that I'm taking down here. As you can see, way more definition than the Commit Biologics. Like, way more. Like, this twist would hold like an actual curl for the day one, day two. However, not a super defining cream, also. Kinky tresses. So as you can see, there is some frizz points here. I can guarantee you by the end of the day, this is gonna be frizzy. It's gonna feel great, like it's gonna still be moisturized, but it's gonna be frizzy. So I'm not gonna like do anything with it because all I'm gonna do is pull my hair back into a ponytail and see how the moisture lasts me throughout the week with these creams. I just wanna show you the takedown initially. So let's move on to the next. Right now we're working on Meech Beauty. Let's go to the other side of my head. And we're gonna take this down here. Meech, great for defining. This was the fastest takedown for me because Meech Beauty, like creams, define your hair. Like, I don't have to worry about messing up a twist for definition, if that makes sense. Still super moisturizing, like still super moisturizing, but I can play with these. And the definition stays. With Meech Beauty, I don't have to worry about like being careful with my hair if I'm going for definition because I just know that it's gonna perform well with definition. 
and my hair is very soft also okay so Karen feels good to be honest they kind of all feel the same I would say Karen is a tad less bit moisturizing but not far off but I can feel like the slight dryness like it's not it's not far off but I can tell the difference so let's see Karen up close Karen is a little bit harder to judge because again I've only experimented with Karen like twice this is like my third time putting Karen in my hair so I don't have much experience with her however my hair doesn't feel bad I do prefer the other creams better but my hair doesn't feel bad now it's a little bit here frizzy at the roots and you know mid here but that could be because of how I actually twist this actual twist, I wouldn't blame that on Karen. And the reason for that is my ends here are defined. Like, I can play with these and I know they're not gonna go, you know what I'm saying, not gonna frizz up on me. So, Karen's a little bit harder to judge. So, I'll let you know how I feel about Karen like at the end of this video. Commit by Logics completely is out of there like it's out of there I think I might have to twist this one back up okay last but not least is Adwa Beauty so let's do Adwa Adwa is defined baby defined And do it this way. Adwa is defined. Super soft, smells amazing, but defined. Like, as you can see, I can bounce around with Adwa and it's still there. Like, Adwa is the cream that I turn to when I want definition. Like, if something special is going on, I opt for Adwa. The only thing that I would say about Adwa is if you have a really sensitive scalp, like, you might get irritation. I don't know if that's from, like, the spearmint oils that's in her uh, formula or, you know, what have you, but... If you have a really sensitive scab, I, I wouldn't go heavy on the cream if you try it out. So just be cautious about that. But yeah, I don't know if I'm getting a really good angle here, but... I was it. And at the end here, it's truly how I twisted the twist. It has nothing to do with the cream. That's because I split it into two to, you know, twist all the way down to the length of my strands. However, I am going to take down every twist and I'm just going to leave them like this. I'm not going to like fluff or anything. You all know that definition is like not my thing. I just prefer that my hair be moisturized so it don't fall off. And, you know, if somebody's birthday come up, then maybe I'll try. But I'm going to come back on day seven to let you guys know how my hair feels and I'll see you there. Today is day four and unfortunately we're not going to make it to day five because because of that right there and I refuse to look crazy. So let's take my hair down and talk about these creams. Believe me, I have enough experience to give my two cents with four of them one I really just don't have 
like the tea. So let's start off with Karen and her official name is Karen's Body Beauty Super Duper Hydrating Hair Cream. And she is at the top here. This is Karen right here. And as you can see, my hair still has a little bit of her definition. It's not that frizzy. Uh, more frizzy, you know, at the roots than I would prefer. But again, it could be from how like I twisted, you know, my actual twist. My hair still feels great. So here's the kind about Karen that I'm not too crazy about, and that is she's greasy. Like, I feel like a greasy feel, like you can literally see the shine on my fingers here, and I don't prefer that. So even though I really love like this butter, this probably will be like my last time purchasing Karen only because I have better options. That's not to say the butter is bad or anything like that. It's just to say that I have other options that I prefer. So let's talk about Kinky Tresses. So here is Kinky Tresses. And as you all know, this is like my A1. And she's on the side here. And as you can see, she did frizz up. Not too much. Um, that's Comment. And this is also Kinky Tresses here. So I would say if I twisted Karen correctly, Kinky Tresses and Karen would probably be tied as far as like how the twist kept definition, like as far as frizz go, like they would be tied. But here's the thing though, when I use Kinky Tresses, I'm not using that for a purpose of an actual twist out. So. Definition is not like something that I want from that hair butter. It's like solely moisture. When I use that hair butter, I'm keeping my twist in and normally I'm using it during the winter months so that I can combat that cold weather um, to protect my hair. So let's talk about Clement Biologics. See how we're on this side. And this is the Clement Biologics Burnout Root Buttercream. Now, I'll be honest with you, this one here that we seen initially, I twisted back up because I just knew this was going to be a mess. However, I just wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> or maybe I was. Maybe I was. Maybe that's the reason why I twisted that back up. But this is how Commit Biologics look. This is exactly how Commit Biologics look. Now, I only did two twists in Commit Biologics because I personally don't, I'm not crazy about the application process. Like, I'm just not. Even though I feel like this cream is like best applied on like damp hair, it takes a while for me to apply it because I have to be a little bit more gentle compared to like how I apply the other butters because it's not that much slip, if that makes sense. In regards to me repurchasing Commit Biologics, I will not repurchase that hair butter anymore only because I have better options. This was my go-to hair butter when I was a newly natural and it worked like better than, you know, what I was used to, right? But now that I'm a little bit more experienced and try a variety of products, I don't have to just go for good products if that makes sense okay so let's go on to Meech this is how Meech looks and this is Meech here still intact 
Now you have to understand when you let your hair out that it's just naturally going to get frizzy from the elements like in your area. However, this is pretty good. Definition. And this is exactly what I'm used to when I use Meech. Like, this is the same results that I get like every time I use that cream. So, it's right on point. Like, I can't complain about like what you see today at all. And last but not least, let's go to Ottawa Beauty. So obviously you know that Ottawa is bae because this is 16 ounces and she sells it in 8 ounces also. But every time I purchase this hair cream, I only purchase it in 16 ounces because I love it. Okay, so this is Ottawa. So this is exactly what I'm used to when it comes to using Ottawa hair cream. I'll be honest with you, my nape area here, yeah. This is like my 4B texture, which is why I twisted this back up because I just knew there was no hope, right? But this area here gets frizzier faster than like my 4C hair because it's softer. It's so much softer and it needs a little bit more hold. Um, so this is exactly why I twisted this up. But this is to be expected because I'm used to this amount of frizz on this texture. Let me just put that out there. However, these are the results that I normally get when I use Oddwa. Yes, it is a little bit chunky and of course it's frizzy because I let my twist out. Yet you can see that it's still defined and I personally prefer like this chunky look. So there you have it folks, that is my two cents. And just to recap, my keeps would be Kinky Tresses as number one, Ottawa Beauty and then Meech. Meech comes in last even though it's probably like number one for slip because I am not in love with the scent of that product. However, the performance is amazing. Again, I only use kinky tresses in the event that, you know, it's cold weather or I'm having a really, really like bad hair day and I need someone to like just love on me, right? Like that's my go-to, but I'm not taking my twist out, right? Like I'm keeping my twist like for the full week. Right, and when I need definition, I turn to Adwa because it smells good. I'm letting my hair out. I'm probably like shaking my head. You know what I'm saying? Feeling myself. So if I need like a bomb like style, Adwa is my go-to. Now, I'll be honest with you. If I'm like lazy and I really just don't feel like applying a leave-in, even though I feel like Meech works best with a leave-in, I will use Meech. I will use Meech. I mainly use Meech now on my son because he wants to get out the chair, right? And it works great without a leave-in on him. But for me, I prefer it with leave-in. And it's my last like choice, like last choice because I'm really, really not in love with the scent. Even though I love the performance. As for Karen and Commit Biologics, I do feel like these are great creams, right? I just don't feel like they're the best and they're just not my go-tos. I don't have enough experience with Karen yet, but I can't see myself using this cream again only to keep my twist in and not for an actual twist out. So really quick before we end this video, I do wanna talk about moisture. And in my experience, all five of these creams 
like will last me past day seven right will last me past day seven keep in mind i do keep my twist in at least 24 hours before i let my hair out and for those butters like kinky tresses um and like karen that i will use only and twist probably last longer than a seven day mark now when it comes to like retaining moisture keep in mind you have to consider like how you're styling your hair and you know that air would just naturally deplete moisture so so i hope this video was helpful if it was please give me a thumbs up let me know your thoughts have you tried any of these creams or hair butters and let me know what is your number one if your number one is not these five right let me know that also comment down below and till next time people uh -uh. don't leave me you know i got separation anxiety issues if you could just click on another video for me i'll truly appreciate it i'll see you guys next time have a great day